Generally, when you're in a mood to eat some chicken starters, the first thing that comes to your mind are chicken lollipops. So let's get going with that. This is the Bombay chef Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. First things first is to convert this chicken wing into a lollipop, for which I've taken the entire wing along with the winglet. Now this is into three parts. We have the shoulder, we have the wing and we have the winglet. So let's see what to do. The first thing is to check the joint here and to discard the winglet, which is this portion. The next is to separate this joint. So right here, I'm running the knife between the two joints, which is here, and I get these two parts. Now the first part is the wing, which has two bones. So here, if you see, there's a thicker bone and a thinner bone. So you can touch it and feel it. So first thing is to touch and feel and to figure out where the two bones are and run a knife right in the middle of the two. Something like this. So here you have separated the two bones. The thinner one now gets cut further. So I'm going to just run a knife around the thinner bone and make sure this comes out. Make sure you have a very firm grip and an extra sharp knife. You scrape the meat around this and you turn the entire thing around and you push it out. So this is how this bone comes out. And now we move on to the second bone, which is the thicker bone. I'm going to run the knife around the second bone, something like this. And again, I'm going to push the entire meat down, something like this. Now the second part, I'm going to run this knife and make sure the entire bone is clean, absolutely clean. Finally, this meat can be chopped off. So here you have this lollipop which is now ready. All you have to do is now collect this ball of meat and convert this into a ball which is now connected to the thicker bone, something like this. This goes here. Now coming to the shoulder part. Now here, if you see, there's a single thick bone. So all you have to do is run your knife around the bone, something like this. And separate the meat from the bone. Exactly how we did to the wing. The only difference is it has a single bone, which is a rather thicker bone. So you scrape the meat like this. Make sure you scrape the entire bone so it becomes nice and clean. Turn it around and knock this off. Now, similarly, I'm going to collect the entire ball of meat. Just give it a roll and here you have this lollipop ready. Well, here if you see, I have pre-cut most of the lollipop and kept it ready. Well, however, if you are lucky enough, your butcher will do this for you. But if you want to get adventurous in the kitchen, well, you can get going. The lollipops are processed and ready. Let's begin with the marination. For that, I'm taking all these in a bowl. Some soya sauce. Some ginger garlic paste. Some crushed black pepper and finally some salt. Give it a good mix. And let it rest for 30 to 45 minutes. Let's start making the batter. The first thing that goes in is some corn flour. The next is some refined flour. The next that goes in is some chili powder. Now this chili can be a good mix of a chili that gives you good color and taste. So I've taken a mix of Kashmiri and Degi Mitch. You can add in some salt as required. And now I'm breaking in an egg. Give it a mix. And along with this, I'm going to add in some water and convert this into a thick batter. While the batter is getting ready, let's put the oil to heat. The lollipop is marinated and ready, the batter is ready and the oil is also heated up. 
So now let's start frying. For this, I'm taking the lollipop again, giving it a nice roll, making sure the meat is all together. Dip this into the batter. Drain the excess and drop this straight in the oil. The lollipops are done and ready. I'm transferring them on an absorbent paper to drain all the excess oil. Similarly, I'm going to fry the other lollipops. The lollipops are fried and ready. Let's make it restaurant style now. For this, I'm taking an aluminum foil. So here, I'm taking this foil and I'm wrapping the bone which is exposed here. So I'm just turning it around and giving it a pinch. Similarly, I'm going to do the rest. Well, here if you notice, the chicken lollipops are not as bright red in color as you generally see them in restaurants. That is just the magic of some extra added food color. Well, if you're okay with that, go ahead with that as well. The chicken lollipops are done and ready. Do try these at home and serve these with Shezwan sauce. For the link of the recipe, check the description box below. Well, you can also click a picture and hashtag the Bombay Chef and share it on social media with us. Cheers.